Uh-huh. Y'all didn't even know I was going to come out with two videos in one day. It's late. But you're getting two of them things. Now, before we even get started, I don't got no allegiance to Shannon Sharp, Stephen A, Whitlock, nor I have any issues with these guys. I just want to have a conversation with y'all. That's it. And then we can all give our opinions based off the conversation. So before we get started, we're going to listen to this clip from Unk. Obviously, go to Nightcap. You know, they're growing like weeds over there. You go check out the entirety of that particular portion of the video. I'll actually leave a link in the description. Y'all go check that out for yourself. And then, of course, you can give you your thoughts. Anyways, roll the footage. You look at where Stephen A is and you right. look at the guy that he was talking about. Stephen A is up here. He's here, right. or even lower. So mm -hmm. in other words, see, Ocho, you remember like when we were growing up and somebody be going, hey, man, you going to town? Hey, let me catch a ride. Mm -hmm. See, the only way he can get up is if he's attached himself to Stephen A or Ooh. somebody that's higher that's going up. I don't leave on, him man. alone. Right. I don't, I don't, look, I don't mess with him. I don't mess with him. He knows I don't mess with him. He likes to bring my name. You know Fox tried to feed him some information about this and that, and he threatened. Mm -hmm. I don't get into all that. I just look. I know who I am. I know what I am. Okay, y'all say all y'all little stuff because, see, the problem, the problem that he has with me, see, and this is what a lot of people have that, mm -hmm. that are journalists. You see, I, sit at the, I can sit at a desk on ESPN or I get it at Fox, and I can do what they do. Mm -hmm. They could never live in my world. They can never play pro sports. So mm. now, not only could I play sports and I was damn good, mm -hmm. I can sit across and I'm more entertaining. I'm more in informative. Mm -hmm. I'm more educational than you. And see, those that can do, those that mm. can't talk. You see, they can. all they can do is talk. I can do. Have you thought about reaching out and asking them what the problem is? No. Nah, they got my number. Oh, they already got your contact too, so they could they could have came to you first. Of course. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Of All course right. they could have. All right, they come to me with other stuff. All right, I see what you're you going. Now, clearly, I only showed a portion of what Unc said because, again, I, I I can't be rolling two, three, four minutes of his of his material. That's disrespectful towards Unc. So, if y'all want to listen to the entirety of what he said, go over there and listen to what he said. But I do want to address some things. First of all, Stephen A. Smith, bro, you, you shouldn't even have you you should not have pushed out that video the other day. I, I just listened to it while I was out. I, I listened to the entirety of it, and based off what I've heard from Whitlock, Whitlock was just basically a, a, had some questions or some concerns about your book. That's fair. He bought the book, or somebody bought it for him, but he read the entire book. I'm assuming he read a good portion of it, and he had some concerns about the book. You didn't address those things. Based off what I've heard what I heard from your 50 something minute video, I didn't hear you address anything. I heard you say some bad words about him, call him some bad mean names, right? You you you, you was very aggressive. So you basically attacked him. And this is no this is no disrespect towards Steve, Stephen A. Smith. If Whitlock was doing it, I would have said Whitlock did it. I'm just addressing specifically what Stephen A. Smith did at that time. He attacked Whitlock. He said a lot of bad, nasty, mean things. And then he started bringing up names. Oh, they don't like him. He, they don't like him. This person don't like him. This executive, blah, blah. That's it. That's all I saw. But he didn't never really address any of the points. Specifically, um, like the year that he uh, uh, was able to get the scholarship. I, I think it was in February on like a, a Sunday or something like that. He didn't address that. Um, it was some other things, of course. But he didn't address none of the points or any of the questions that Whitlock had. So by just throwing mud at somebody, I'm going to throw mud at you. I'm not going to address anything. You should have just said nothing at all. You would have been better off. So when Unk said, I wish Steve Nate wouldn't have said nothing, I'm taking it that he shouldn't have said nothing because this, this, this is going to look pretty. This looked bad, in my opinion, for Stephen A. Smith. Now, now on Unk. Unk addressed um, Jason Willock head on. Again, go check out the entirety of that particular part of the, I said, I called it the interview, but um, conversation that Unk and, and, and 85 was having. He believes that, that you know, Whitlock, and, and he was addressing others, Stephen Jackson and others, they feel some type of way. That's why they keep his name in their mouth. 
And on Unk Park, he did bring up the stuff about Fox. You know, in one in one instance, he claimed he never did nothing over there like that was bad, which I got to take him at face value. Unk seemed like a cool dude, but I got to take him at face value. He said he never did anything that was deemed bad behavior. But why would a, a company have anything bad to say in the first place? So let's just say it's true that Fox was trying to feed with like some information about Unk. That he did something he had no business doing. If he ain't do nothing wrong, could he sue for defamation? I'm saying like if something really, if some information actually came out. Nothing's been said out loud yet, but if something did come out, could he sue for defamation? Because if it's not true, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and let, let a big organization just um, rub my name across the mud. That makes no sense. And why would you be able to say something to someone about me if I ain't did nothing? So that was kind of suspicious. You know, not saying that Unk did anything. I'm just saying in general, if, if nothing's been done at all, that's, this, shouldn't even be a, this shouldn't even be a conversation. And if Woodlock is about truth like he said he is, he would, that means he's lying, right? That means that if, if he is claiming that Fox gave him some information, I'm saying he's never done that. So there shouldn't be no reason why Fox gave him information. So either Wick is, Whitlock is lying, which he claims he's about the truth, or Shannon is lying. Somebody's lying, one or the other. And again, this is not me to pin anything against anybody, but one has to be true. Did Shannon do something and they had some stuff to say about him for real and they gave that information to, to Whitlock? Or did they not have nothing to say and Whitlock is just lying? He's flat out lying and claiming that he got information, right? He's making it vague like, oh, they gave me some information. He didn't say what it was, but it's, oh, I got some information. But he doesn't. And in people's minds, if he claims he got information, people, what do you think they're going to think? Oh, what Unk did? So somebody's lying. That's y'all job to give y'all opinion on that. We don't know. Nobody knows. I mean, eventually, I guess all this stuff will come to light, I guess. Right? I guess it's the year of truth. That, that's what Cat Williams said. But yeah, so Unk ad address, he addresses Whitlock head on. He said what he said about Whitlock. Um, he didn't say, from what I gather, he didn't like call him any derogatory names or anything like that. Unk handled it properly. Unk's doing it right. I was like, hey, for them things. Mm-mm. 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 I'm going to continue to shine over here. He can continue to say what he wants to say about me, but I'm going to ignore it. That's what Stephen A. should have did. I'm just saying. So, anyways, I'm kind of rambling at this point. I want to hear y'all thoughts about this. For those that got to see Nightcap, y'all tell me how y'all feeling about it. Who? I mean, are y'all on anybody's side? Is somebody wrong here? Somebody has to be wrong. No, Everybody's not right. Because one person is saying this person did this. The other person is saying this person did that. I'm just saying Anyways, oh yeah, yeah, one more thing, one more thing. So, Unk also said towards, you know, the, the, um, towards the end of that clip, he said, they got my number. Now, I don't know if Whitlock has his number because he said he don't mess with Whitlock. He, he, he said that. So, I would assume if you don't mess with him, y'all don't have numbers. Maybe there's other ways y'all can get in contact, but I'm assuming y'all don't have numbers. Or even if that, but, but I would assume that. He could get Shannon number if he needed to, but definitely with Steven Jackson. I'm assuming he was talking about Steven Jackson or, or whoever else that was hating on him. They got my number. I don't want to use the word hating, but you know, they came out and said what they said, how they felt about the interview with Cat Williams, but they got his number. So if they had anything to say, they could have addressed me behind closed doors. I, for me, this is just me. I've, I've already told y'all before, I'm, I'm more on the traditional side. And this is not just because I'm, I'm, what I'm about to say has nothing to do with me being on the traditional side, okay? But I really believe in approaching stuff head on. If I have an issue with you, let's just say if I was in Steven, Steven Jackson's shoes. Me as a man, if I had an issue with what Shannon did, I would have called Shannon. I would have told Shannon. Last thing I want to do is sell the the uh the the, the uh, what would you call it the the perception that i'm hating and the optics do look bad if stephen jackson has shannon number the optics look bad that he didn't go to shannon first and had that conversation behind closed door and he decided to make a video and record it just saying 
or anybody else that said something about Shannon and they got his number and they could have talked to him behind closed doors because that's what Shannon said. Anyways, y'all, thoughts of the cup, bitch. Y'all tell me how y'all feeling and we get this thing edited, pushed out tonight and if y'all enjoy it, man, y'all hit that like button for your mans. Share this damn video. Subscribe. Okay? But what I tell y'all, I'm making these videos for y'all every day and I'm learning every single day. But I thought that this video here, I'm supposed to be in the level, but I'm going to keep talking real quick. Give me a quick second. I made this video obviously using Shannon Sharp and Whitlock as the avatar. But the moral of it is, look, man, if you have an issue with somebody, talk with them behind closed doors for the most part. Especially if you got the person's number and you got an issue with them. Talk with them behind closed doors. Now, if you did everything you can do behind closed doors, but they on some bullshit, or they trying to make it public, then if you have to fight five with five, shit, fight five with five. I ain't trying to tell you to turn other cheek. But I'm saying on the front end, if you could talk to them behind closed doors to resolve something, resolve it that way. Try to keep it as peaceful as possible. I don't got no issue with taking on conflict, but try to keep it as peaceful as possible. But if they want to elevate it, elevate it. Same thing. If they don't want to talk behind closed doors, they want to make it messy in front of everybody, make it messy. Unless y'all just trying to make money together and making this fake beef and stuff like that. Y'all can do that too, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, let me get out of here to the next video.